Okay, I get this out of the way, the switch, so you can get to this screw here and back this screw out through this little hole here. That's the hardest part on this. This is a 266 Husqvarna. I'm going to put a uh, new cylinder and piston on it. And this cylinder comes from Italy. And this is just easy to remove. This comes off, this comes off. We're not going to use these screws again. We're going to reuse this. We're going to reuse this. And we're not going to reuse this. It's a good idea to pressure test your crankcase first before you do any of this just to make sure that the crank seals aren't leaking if they're leaking you're gonna have to replace them this one's not leaking okay we're not going to use this over again okay now we're going to take the cylinder off so I'm not real sure what size these allen head bolts are they're whatever size this is it's worn off it's not five millimeters and it's not four millimeters it's something in between that came off easy enough put everything in a box the way you won't lose them yeah, yeah, this guy's got using some really bad oil in here. This thing's a mess. Scored pretty good there. And see how easy the piston pin comes out. Well, that one took off somewhere. We got extras, you don't need it. Just make sure it didn't end up in the crankcase. That one took off too. Yeah, that came out. That's not a bad tool to use on that. You just don't want to put a lot of load on this crank, on this connecting rod here. Sideways or you'll twist it and then it won't fit. Let's clean out the crankcase here. This is gas with some mix in it. Uh-oh. That's not good. One of those E-rings must have fallen in there. I didn't see anything. Sure did jam up though. Feels good now. Make sure those things don't end up where you don't want them. Okay, so we almost start to put this. So be careful when you pull this piston ring out of here so you don't break it. Get the piston out. Let's get the new bearing. New bearing goes in here. We're going to put some oil on it first. Free lube that. Free lube it in there. Let's 
Check your piston out. There's the arrow. Goes on like this. It's easy with the right pliers. Okay, let's get some oil on this. Let's get it started in here. Arrow's still going that way. There it started. Make sure your bearing doesn't fall out on you. Turn it over so you can see where you're lined up. And when you get it lined up, piston pin goes right in. Never fight you. Once it goes in, it goes in. The fights me are all these little parts that keep disappearing on me. Okay. Put a finger around it so it doesn't take off on you. Make sure it's seated in there. Okay, looks good. Time for a piston ring. Piston ring has a top and a bottom. Got a pin right here on the top of the piston. These are cut so they go right around that piston ring. Right, right around that piston pin. Once you get them in there, that's good. Get your gasket. Put that on. Make sure it halfway lines up. And some more oil. Put it on your piston ring. Some more oil. Put it in the cylinder. Nickel seal plated. Made in Italy. Make sure you got this so it's right there. Exhaust side, intake side, offer it up. Set it down there. Pull it over. See how it sounds. Sounds good. Nice and free. This photograph shows you everything you get in this uh, 266 kit. It's actually a 268 cylinder, so you get more power out of it. It's a nice kit. 266 is a pretty easy one to do. Everything's right where you need to be. Nothing's in the way except for that when you go to take that carburetor off. Okay, tighten these up, get about that much torque on them. It's hard to say how much that is, but it's a good twist. The metal shaft flex. Let's flex that shaft about a quarter turn from there to there, and that should be tight enough. Check them all, make sure it's there. 
fit these screws to the muffler. Oh, look at that, they fit. Snug them down a little bit with a vice grip. Make sure you're putting it on the right way. Okay, so let's get the ceiling collar back around where it's supposed to go. So it seals. I see it'd be better to uh, assemble the carburetor to the cylinder before you put the cylinder on. And that way you'll get the ceiling collar in much easier. The 266 aftermarket cylinder is a little bit taller than the original one, so you got to cut a hole in the top cover so the spark plug boot will fit through it. And you also have to remove a little bit of the fin so it doesn't cut into the spark plug uh, high tension lead. And that's about all you have to do to modify the 166. Okay, well, it ain't too pretty, but it'll work. Simonian Saw Service is the place. I have them. Uh, you can do a search for me, email me, or whatever. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.